SwiftUI's navigation stack shows a navigation bar at the top of our views, but it also does something else. It lets us push views onto a view stack. In fact, this is really one of the most fundamental ways of navigating around in iOS. Here in the Messages app, for example, I can tap a contact and a new view slides in. I can either swipe to go backwards or press this little back button to go backwards. Now, this view stack system is very different from the sheets we've used previously. Yes, they'll both show some kind of information, right? It's a new screen of stuff going on here, but there's a difference in the way they show them that affects the way users think about them. Let's start with some code you can see in action. I'll get rid of this default code here and say we have a navigation stack. In there will be a text saying, tap me. Ah, I have a nav title here of just SwiftUI. Now, this text here is just static text here. Of course, pressing tap me doesn't make it magically a button or anything, right? It's not a button right now. It doesn't do anything when it's tapped. We're going to make it so when you press on tap me, it will show a new screen on here. This is done using a new view called navigation link. Give this thing a destination, what to show when it's pressed, and something can be tapped, the label, and it'll take care of the rest for you automatically. Now, one of the many things I love about SwiftUI is we can use navigation link with any kind of destination view. Yes, we can build a wholly new custom view inside here to push to, but we can also push straight to some text or straight to a color, for example. So here, I'm going to say, let's replace this text thing here with navigation link, tap me, and then inside there say text detail view, like so. And now when the code runs, you're going to see it's blue. It is looking like a button on iOS. When I tap this thing, boom, in slides this text view saying detail view, our title fades away to come small part of this back button, and then we can swipe to go back or tap this button to go back in a quick way. So we get a full navigation stack being pushed on here with a new view when it's pressed. Very, very easy amount of code. Now, if you want something other than a simple text label, this one here, you can provide two trailing closures with your navigation link. For example, you might say, that's my uh, thing to push to with a custom label of, I'll do a, a V stack saying, uh, this is the label uh, and then text. So is this, and then a uh, image. Let's do a system name of uh, face dot smiling, for example. Uh, I'll put the whole thing in a font of large title. So a completely custom label now. And that whole thing becomes our tapple button to move to the next screen. So both sheets and navigation link allow us to show a new view from the current view. But the way they do it is just different. So you could choose them carefully. Navigation link here is great when you want to show details about the user selection. So you saw in messages here, when I've chosen uh, Johnny Appleseed here, that means I want to go in and dig deeper into this person. Show me more information about them. Show me their message history here. Whereas uh, a sheet is for unrelated content, like a uh, a settings window or a compose window. You aren't navigating through your data, it's something else entirely. The most common place you're gonna see navigation link is actually inside a list. And there SwiftUI does something quite marvelous. I'm gonna modify our code a little bit here. Let's go back to, uh, uh, actually let's delete the whole thing. <laughs> it's much easier. Let's say here, we've got a list counting from zero to 100 with one row coming in. Inside there, I'll make a navigation link with a title of row, some row number, and the, the, the thing to push to will be a text of detail row, like so. Now, when we run this code back, you're gonna see our rows in our list like before, but now you'll also see these little gray disclosure indicator arrows on the side here, these little right-facing chevrons here. This is the standard iOS way of telling users this row can be tapped. Select this, and I'll push a new view in from that side. So it's telling you navigate to one direction. So you can guide them through here. And SwiftUI is really, really smart here. It knows 
We're inside a list. It knows the navigation link as a view being pushed. Make the arrows be shown here. And if those uh, weren't actually navigation links, if you take out this nav link entirely, for example, just have the text view in the list, then the chevrons go away. They no longer present new views.